Hey Swarm fans, Alex Schimke here from MNSwarm.com. Next to me here is Andrew Suter. No longer a rookie suit, second no. year. Yeah. Uh, how'd the first day go for you? You know, it was uh, a really good first day. Uh, coaches really put us to it. We're still out of breath here, but uh, you know, I think we went for about 45 minutes there. Not one drill was stand still. You know, you got your 30 seconds of water right back out there and I mean these top 40 guys in absolutely great shape out there. It was a high intensity practice, couple of big hits, everyone working hard, lots of chatter. You know, you couldn't ask for anything more from the first practice of the year. I noticed right away from the get-go you were a real vocal leader out there. Is that kind of a role you're embracing this year with a lot of guys no longer on the team? Yeah, I'm gonna try to take it upon myself. I mean, it's no secret we've made a lot of changes this year and everyone's saying that they think we lost leadership, but the amount of leadership that we have in this dressing room with Ryan Benash, Andrew Watt, Kevin Ross, Joe Sinowski, I mean, there's no shortage of leadership anywhere in our group. Um, just have not been a little more vocal in my second year, something I can accomplish for the team, but more than anything, you know, it's just staying fired up. And so, you know, in the NLL, you only get two weekends to get ready for the game. We got the first week off, and we're going to Colorado, and I can guarantee this team's ready to go in shape, and we're gonna come out just guns a-blazing. You also mentioned at the beginning, let's prove why we're going to be the hardest working team in the NFL this year. Talk about that mentality the team has. I just, like I said, it's no secret. People right now are taking cheap shots at us saying, I, the only talk about the Minnesota Swarm right now is what we lost. And personally, that's an insult to our team. And we're going to take what people say and we're going to use that as motivation. We could care less about who's not in our dress and we don't care. They're not here, they're not here, they're not a part of our team. We have a great team in that room. We're excited to be here. Every single person in that room is fired up. And they can doubt us all they want, but we're going to come out here and show the league what we're all about by being the hardest working team. You guys had 40 players out there today at the league max. Lots of rookies, lots of invitees. Just talk about the competition and how fierce it was. <laughs> I'll just say I'm happy I'm a player and not a coach out there. I mean, to get from 40 to 23 in this league now, especially with there only being nine teams, is going to be tough. Uh, Guys out there, even the guys from the, the uh, busted their butt in the open trials, brought their way up into this. I mean, they're contending for a spot. There's no secrets out here. And I don't think it matters if you were on the team last year right now. I mean, everyone out there is working hard for a spot on this team, and it's going to be tough for these coaches to get them down to 23 men. And, you know, we got a great coaching staff. I think it's one of the best in the NLL. So we got all faith in them, and they're going to make the right decisions if we're going to have the best team possible. You signed a new contract this summer. Talk about how excited you wanted to be here in Minnesota for the next couple of years. It was awesome. Uh, right from the get-go, you know, I got the opportunity and it was a three-year deal. And this is where I want to play. This is where I want to play lacrosse. Last year, I fell in love with the atmosphere and the hive. I love the fans, getting to meet the fans post-game, getting to, you know, just hang out with them, get to know them. We meet up with them at the All-Star game. Fans are coming up talking. You know who they know who you are. It's good to get involved with the community and know who they are, especially, you know, coaching one of the high schools and getting down to Treasure Island there on the... Uh, reserve down there, it's awesome. We're going, you know, we're helping out with those kids. So to get the game of lacrosse back into the community here, I know it's the state of Minnesota, but maybe we can push here and make it the state of lacrosse too. Maybe have a bit of a doubleheader.